Hey guys, it's another pickup leftover, so grab a cup of joe and watch the video. All right, what do we have in store for this pickup leftovers? Of course, we have pickups, we have leftovers from the videos. Um, there was some stuff in the videos that didn't really show too well. Guns are really got some good stuff from Retro Gaming Fun. Yeah. I already bought stuff. Well, I picked up some new Switch games. I got a couple of announcements. And uh, yeah, of course, we got shout out of the month. We got a new question for y'all. This week, I'm going to be over at Antwerp Comic Con on Saturday all day, I think. Uh, I'm going to be there. Renzo's going to be there. Matt is. We're going to be walking around. So if you see us passing by, come come over and say hi. Uh, what else do we have? We got a Retro Gaming Birds in Halter, which is the 6th of October, I think. And I'm going to be over at Retro Palooza on the 19th and 20th of October in Texas. Yeah, Eddie Boy is going to head over to America together with Greco Fabulous and Nutter Nutter Retro Channel, or better known as NARC. So yeah, let's get to the pickup leftovers. First up, the shout out. The shout out of the month is going out to Ennius Addict. Um, I think I've been watching this channel for about three years now. Uh, he doesn't upload too frequently, but when he does, um, it's amazing. He's got so much cool Mario stuff that he collects, like old Nintendo stuff he collected over the years. And I've been checking out his Instagram. It looks like Russ Lyman has dropped by over at his little uh, game room because apparently he has his game room up in an attic. So NES Complex has been there. Riff from uh, Pixel Gaming Squad has been there and Russ Lyman. So I think there's going to be a couple of really cool collaboration videos coming out on this channel. Definitely go and check it out. Then of course I uploaded a couple of videos this month. Uh, the last one we uploaded was Kalka. Uh, and over there I did pick up like a big stack of stuff over at Stefano's but I didn't really show it to you guys. So we're going to show that right now. We're going to start off with the TMNT stuff I picked up and then we'll get the, a pretty cool console box. Nintendo, I haven't shown you yet. So over here we have it, the two Mega Mutants. Now these guys I've been after for a long time. You don't see them too often. And when you do find them loose, they're usually just missing pieces. So you can see you got the needle nose, which goes for the turtles. And then down below we got the killer bee. You got like a foot soldier riding it. So it's freaking cool. I, I love the way he has like uh, the, like jail cell hat on and he's got like uh, yeah he's a bee so yeah it's pretty cool uh the boxes are a bit beat up but the figurines inside are uh totally amazingly complete so yeah this is definitely gonna be good for my tmnt collection one thing i've been meaning to add for the longest time already so yeah just thought i'd show you guys that because i didn't really show it too well in the video you know crap man like the guy who bought this over at Walmart he got them for like eight bucks but then two more items I got from Stefano's uh, probably the best one was this Wind Waker lot so this is a GameCube limited edition uh, Zelda pack uh, and is it yeah it's just a sleeve again isn't it so yeah here we go with the European sleeves again so this is just a sleeve and uh, it, it because of the sleeve, the console becomes a lot more expensive. I paid 50 for this one, and it actually comes with Zelda The Wind Waker, the limited edition um, pack of the game, and that comes with The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and the Master Quest game. So uh, yeah, pretty neat, pretty pretty cool. Um, I didn't really have like a good GameCube system in the box so I, I've always been wanting to add something like this or the Resident Evil one or the Metroid one but this just popped up for 50 and I was like yeah I'll, I'll, I'll grab that uh, I'll grab that um, thrown in with this was another DK Konga set uh, a little bit sun faded on the top but this is like the second one I have right now uh, I I think this one is pack two. I already got pack one, so yeah, why not? Picked it up, picked it up for you guys so I could show it to you in the pickup leftovers. Um, next up, 
there was a Nintendo Direct, uh, and, well, I think I did it once, like, talk about the Nintendo Direct, but, uh, I don't know if you guys, like, enjoy me talking about that stuff, but one of the cool things that happened is you actually got, um, the SNES games to play right now on the Switch. When you have, like, the subscription rolling for the online, uh, Switch thing, you, you pay for it, like, once a year or something, and, uh, yeah. You can actually play all these old games. You got Demon Crest on there. Joe and Mac 2 is on there. I was playing that this week. Uh, pretty fun because I don't have that card. Um, yeah, so pretty cool that you can actually play Nintendo and SNES games on the Switch right now. So they did it before with the NES. If you haven't heard about that, I just thought I'd mention it because it's pretty cool. I also went over to Game Mania again. I put all most most of my pre-orders go through that, uh, and I picked up a couple of games for the Switch. I picked up the Collection of Mana, which is basically Final Fantasy Adventure, and just Secret of Mana. Uh, not really remade or anything, but uh, it, it's it's cool. It's cool. It's cool to have. It's cool to have. And then. Uh, Another game I picked up, Byro, the Reignited Trilogy. So uh, PlayStation got it first, but then they were like, yeah, we gotta port this to the Switch. So that's why I picked it up. Love playing this. This is one of the games, like, if you're a 90s kid, you knew about Spyro, you knew about Crash Bandicoot. Um, so yeah, this is just, for me, this is, this is so 90s too. Um, Left playing it over at friends' houses because I didn't have a PlayStation, but, you know, every 90s kid knew about Spyro and Crash Bandicoot, so I had to get the trilogy for my own collection. Yeah. Then, continuing with Kalka, uh, I also picked up some more stuff that wasn't on camera, and that was this stuff, actually. Over from Ronald's Bood, uh, like the NES King, uh, I picked up this Double Dragon thing. Uh, this was 1250 This is just a box. Um, but I didn't pay twelve fifty for that. Uh, so this is just a box for Double Dragon The Shadow Falls. Uh, if you don't know about this game, it's kind of like Double Dragon characters, but you're playing it in a Mortal Kombat setting, so it's a versus fighter, uh, like, like Street Fighter or something like that. And, uh, you also have one game left out, uh, in the open over there, Dr. Chaos, which is a kind of horror type platformer. Um, didn't really play it too long, but it was one, like, if you see the cover, you want to pick it up, don't you? Don't you don't just want to pick, this, pick up? this up? <laughs> and talking about a question for this month, like, what game had, like, the best cover art, and then when you started playing it, you were like, what, this is a puzzle game? What? Like, which game has the most confusing box art? That, that's what I want to know. Leave it down in the comments below. I even got some free stuff over at Kalka from Ronald. I actually got this Wii Fit sunglass thing. So yeah, got these sunglasses. Um, it came in this little bubble wrap thing. Uh, from Tom, Tom, uh, sexy dude Tom. He picked up a couple of, a couple of Game & T VHSs. These are in a the cardboard. Uh, I did have this one, I'm not sure about this one uh but yeah he was like dude if you want him you can have him i'm like well i'm not gonna say no to tmnt stuff am i no i'm not uh and then benny dropped by and i think last time he already gave me like a free comic book day teenage mutant ninja turtle thing and this is another one so yeah another teenage mutant ninja turtles comic book great awesome awesome i'm gonna take off these glasses Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right. Over at Tom Plu, in our video, we uploaded. Matthias got the TMNT NES box set over there. So if you haven't checked out that video, definitely do. So here's the stuff we didn't show over at the Tom Plu video. These are just like little trinkets I picked up for like a year or two. Uh, this is a Mario from 1989. Uh, I think it was used for like a, uh, a keychain because he has like a little thing up there. He's not in the best shape, but you know, for two euros, nobody cares. Uh, <laughs> this one is a Yoshi from 95 or 94, something like that. Um, different kind of plastic, like way harder plastic than this one. Uh, this is actually for Ghostbusters, and uh, I was like looking over really far away, Eyes of the Eagle. I was like, hey, that's a Ghostbuster thing, and Matthias and Stefan were like, how the hell did you see that? 
Um, so yeah, this is gonna be cool to add to my little Ghostbuster collection. Then I got a Toy Biz Cyclops. I, I just get excited. Like this is a toy line I've been wanting to collect for. I don't have like any of the accessories, but I keep finding like the key figures, like you know Logan, um, Sauron. I I, I I got like most of the cool guys now. I still need Storm and uh, a couple of other ones. I got Beast. But yeah, just getting these, I love the series, like the cartoon, it, it was freaking amazing. So glad to get Cyclops. I'm gonna check out if I can open up this battery pack because I think he has like uh, a laser function in there or something. And one game I picked up, but I didn't really wanna talk about it in the video was Hurricanes. I think it's like a basketball, a basketball game um, for the Game Gear. Didn't have it, picked it up two euros. So yeah, that's a little, stuff trinkets I bought over there more toys I got some more toys from some of my toy friends the first thing I picked up was this Darkwing Duck figurine from Funko um, definitely a bigger fan of these figures than the Funko Pops yeah definitely this is freaking amazing I loved the Saturday morning cartoons or the Wednesday afternoon Disney afternoon or something like that uh, Darkwing Duck you know uh, DuckTales, Rescue Rangers, those were freaking amazing TV shows. Uh, why don't they have that anymore right now? Of course, I'm an adult. Would I watch it? Yes, I probably would. <laughs> but yeah, Funko one. So I I'm probably going to open this up and just put it on my desk over at work. So yeah, if you guys are watching, beware. Then Coon, my buddy Shredder88 on uh, Instagram, he hooked me up with this lot of uh, vintage stuff. This actually came from Chivaho uh, Creations on Instagram. Uh, he does like customizations of retro toys, but uh, he, he sometimes picks up like big lots of Funko and I was like, hey, do you have one left? And he's like, yeah, sure. So I'll leave those Instagram profiles down below in the description so you guys can uh, check it out. Now what's in this bag from Kuhn? Oh, there were a couple of uh, the pizza thrower uh weapons in there for turtles so yeah awesome pizza tossing turtles that, that's what they're called so yeah you got that i was like hey you want to hook me up uh so i think this guy is called leech or something he has like a spinning action um we got the b guy from masters of the universe in pretty nice condition too um this is one of the rock dudes so he turns into a rock but apparently he's a dude whoa then we got Too Bad, who is like, yeah, they got two heads. They're all in pretty nice condition. The Tundra Gats guys, they're a little bit, uh, oh well, no, this guy's actually okay. His, uh, his arm function doesn't seem to be working. Neither, oh, no, this one does, so yeah. Oh, I'm running away from all these pickups. Yeah, he looks kind of cool, right? Um. He just had like a bunch of toys and he was like, you know, I'm, 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 ta I'm, I'm moving away from these. Um, you want to help out by buying them? And I was like, okay, so I got a deal on these. These were figures I didn't yet have, so I'm going to be upgrading these over the next couple years, hopefully. Yeah, I already bought stuff. And then the moment you've all been waiting for, we're going to clear this and we're going to show you all the stuff I got early in the morning at Retro Gaming Funds boot. All right, so scene set, go. All right, um, if you didn't see this, um, I, I think I posted it up on my Facebook page that um, Retro Gaming Phone was gonna come over with a boot of a collection he recently had bought. And there was on the picture you could see there was a ton of NTSC cards on there. So I was like, oh, I, got, I gotta get there early. I gotta get there freaking early. And uh, even though I started out looking over at like a bunch of games, you know, lose games, complete games. Uh, I saw a box and they were just cardboard boxes. And you know, I have a cardboard addiction. So I was like, hey, uh, how much are these? And this was like five euros. Most of these were just five. And uh, there, there's like a couple ones in there that were a bit more expensive. But uh, in the end, it came down to like maybe seven euros for a box uh, if you add them all up. Um, so I was pretty glad. So let me just swift through the the clear boxes first, and then we'll get to the actual games I picked up. Uh, so I got Castle of the Dragon 
five. I got Wizardry, two Knights of Diamonds. I got Golf Grand Slam. Then we got Gauntlet two, pretty cool one. Now this is a freaking awesome one. This is Ghoul School. I don't have the cart for this, but I'm gonna be looking for it. This one is, is just freaking amazing. Um, yeah, and all these boxes are in great condition. Then we got Fast Break, pretty okay. We got the Tengen version of Gauntlet, so I have to grab that. Road Blasters, oh yeah, Road Blasters. Is this, this is revving? Uh, Road Blasters, yeah. Uh, another really cool one, the Lone Ranger. Pretty cool game if you haven't played this yet. Definitely try it out. Uh, Silkworm, one I haven't heard of, but I was like, yeah, I gotta pick up this box, man. Gotta pick up this box, and then we got Mystery Quest, five, five euros. And probably the best one in the lot, this was priced at 30 euros for the box. Um, but in the end, I probably got it for like 20, uh, if, if you diminish like the, the extra, like, if you diminish like the discount I got on all this stuff. Um, I even threw in a couple of boxes just for free. Um, so this one is Frankenstein, the Monster Returns. And it looks like a really cool game, actually. Uh, just the box art alone is, is freaking amazing. So this is definitely a card I'm going to be hunting for. Uh, no manual in here, but yeah, pretty cool. Decent, like, totally amazing uh, condition on these boxes. Most of them are in excellent condition, so definitely have to grab that. Uh, then I also picked up a couple games that I can actually play and then just look at the boxes. Um, I picked up this one loose. Um, this one is the magic of Sherazada or something like that. Uh, this is an Arabian themed RPG. Uh, so I guess you have to go and save like a princess or something. It, it, it feels kind of like uh, Zelda really. It, you, it's a top-down one. You, you, you kind of like shoot at enemies like in Zelda with, with your sword. Um, you know, you walk into houses and you talk to people and stuff like that. So pretty cool for like 15 euros. I don't know what discount, whatever that was. Um, then we got eight eyes. This one is without the Manny, uh, the manual. This one is also kind of like a horror themed. Uh, lots of platforming. You have to go defeat eight monsters monsters you have to go and defeat eight monsters um and you can play this with two players even eight eyes pretty cool cover i was like thinking like this is gonna be a bad game it has like a really cool cover but uh checking out some of the gameplay and playing it for a little while i was like yeah no this is actually pretty cool and then one of the last ones i picked up was terra cresta uh, this is a space shooter or a land shooter or whatever. Um, spaceship dogfight of the century and you're at the controls. Um, complete in box. Oh no, no manual. No manual? Um, okay, no manual for Terra Cresta, but this was also one I was missing. Pretty cool space shooter. Um, yeah, and I'm pretty freaking glad with all this stuff I got this month. Um, so yeah, is there anything I missed? No, no. We did it all. We did it all, people. Um, definitely stay tuned for my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, you know, this Thursday there will be a new video and next Monday too. So yeah, see you at Antwerp Comic Con. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great week. Bye.